What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I needed to talk about something near and dear to my heart that uh, simply made me too sad to uh, get a little choked up even thinking about it. A raccoon got stuck in a vending machine, okay? And I feel like I have to talk about it. It's one of my own. <laughs> Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million All right, so for those of you that haven't watched the channel for a while when I first started YouTube like before I face revealed or anything There was a joke that like I was literally a raccoon who had a YouTube channel and you know There's a reason Sly Cooper's still my icon. It's just kind of something that like it is just a funny joke That being said when I saw this I knew I had to talk about it a raccoon basically scored what was uh, Supposed to be the equivalent of a crap ton of gold. He got into a vending machine the only only problem is, even after eating a crap ton of Funyuns, he couldn't get back out, so it started to become a, a little bit of a downer. You know, you're on the high of eating all the Funyuns and then you try to escape only to realize you're stuck in definitely kills the high of that. Officer's free raccoon that got stuck inside of a vending machine. I love that like they had to have some officers come out and do this, you know what I mean? Like they could have been out stopping crime, preventing a robbery, there was like a bank robbery across the street. Nah, they're just over here helping the raccoon get out of the vending machine. What if this was the plan all along? Like I know raccoons love to steal stuff, they're just the ultimate heisting animal they plan all of this. All right, so you're gonna pretend to be stuck in the vending machine. While the cops are helping him get out of there, we hit the lunchroom and take every brownie. They go harder than the lunchroom, dude. This is just national treasure for raccoons. They end up stealing the Declaration of Independence while the cops are too busy trying to help one of them get out of the vending machine. Seriously, though, I feel like this guy must have felt like he broke into Fort Knox at first, dude. Raccoons love to eat garbage and he's in a vending machine. That's literally probably like Disneyland for them. Deputies in Florida caught a masked bandit red-handed inside of a high school vending machine. The Volusia County Sheriff's Office posted photos of a raccoon that got stuck inside of a vending machine on Facebook. And then here's one of the pictures of him. As you can tell, man, homie's just kind of realizing that he got in a little bit over his head. He's stuck inside now. Seriously, I would love to see security footage of this so we can see, like, how long he was enjoying himself in there. Because like I said, I'm sure there was, like, you know, an hour, hour and a half window where he was just going bananas devouring every snack in sight he was just having himself a grand old time but once you realize that you're stuck inside the vending machine dude like the fear in his eyes of that photo you know the please get me out of here I did not want to be stuck in here as long as I have been do you think he ever did like uh, the Tom Hanks from Castaway and like turned one of the snack foods into his imaginary friend he's just talking to the Cheetos yeah you're right Chester one day I am gonna get out of here uh oh Ruffles stop talking trash about me he's like punching it seriously though I feel like if I was a kid and I came to school one day and I saw a raccoon in the vending machine I would be like uh, kind of excited about that only because I know that doesn't happen too much at least I, I don't know if it does if you're from a place that has a lot of raccoons is it often that they're like crawling inside vending machines and getting stuck the real plot twist if if this wasn't even like some plan for him to get food right like that's what we're assuming he was breaking in to get food what if it's just a rabid raccoon that had no plan at all he's like I'm gonna break into the school and get into the vending machine like there's no plan involved whatsoever homies just really going crazy on it I'm gonna go in there and uh, eat ruffles until I explode like a pinata. I got rabies. Is that why they had to call the police, dude? Could you imagine just some rabid raccoon sprinting around the school? Now that would be a good story time, you know what I mean? So there I was in math class trying to take my test and I got rabies. Authorities wheeled the vending machine outside to free the animal. He's off to his next adventure, authorities said. All right, so I'm gonna assume if they let him out, then he didn't have rabies, dude. At least I'm really gonna hope so. You do never never know you know these days maybe they're like PETA says we can't kill raccoons so we gotta let him go they're like yeah but he's rabid I don't know the rules are the rules man they just let him go he turns around and attacks them again dude like you know in that one scene in Tiger King where they're trying to put the tiger in the other cage and it starts like trying to attack the people moving him in the raccoon does that I feel like for some reason a raccoon would be horrifying to get attacked by because it's big enough to cause serious damage right but it's also small enough where it can like throw itself at your face it's just the 
most horrifying size. Like, yeah, I can break a bone if I really, really want to. I don't know if that's true. And on top of that, I can, like, jump through the air like a squirrel because I don't have enough weight for gravity to constrain me that well. What's his next adventure, dude? You know, he's definitely, definitely too afraid to ever get near a vending machine again. I'm assuming after you're stuck in those for a couple hours, that's just kind of off the menu. All the other raccoons are like, hey, man, we're going to go break into a vending machine. You want to come? No, absolutely not. Ever since I got stuck in that one in Florida, things haven't been the same. Do you have any idea what it's like to have a school full of Floridian children screaming at you, okay? Florida people are crazy when they're kids, too. Florida's the only state where I feel like everyone in the state has a reputation for being nuts. And that was a joke, by the way. I know there's normal people in Florida. Not many, okay, but they're there. I feel like uh, normal people in Florida is like the equivalent of trying to find someone who, like, hasn't been involved or tried gambling at some point in Las Vegas. Like, yeah, it exists. Just kind of good luck. Like, so you probably had a job at a casino in one way or another if you lived here your entire life. I haven't, but most people have. You know, you know what I'm saying. It's not even a bad thing. I'm just saying Florida's crazy. I, I just wanted to think of something to make you guys feel better if you're from Florida. Didn't really come up with a good one. This gentleman was apprehended today while committing a burglary of a vending machine at Pine Ridge High School. For anyone wondering about the outcome of this call, Deputy Danny Clifton called in the animal control and together they put the vending machine on a dolly and wheeled it out of an area where our friend could make his exit to freedom. He did so with a little encouragement and he's off to his next adventure. Yo bro, I love that they had to coax him out. They were like, alright little guy, you gotta come out of the vending machine. He's like, I don't know, you guys have it on the dolly, you could just wheel me back to where I'm from, you know, you're gonna make me walk all all the way there after everything I've been through today. I'm not the person that put this Welchy gummies in here. See, he's like posing next to it. That's when he said that. That's when he exactly said those words. Because raccoons can talk in my imaginary world that this video is based in. Seriously though, this guy was fiending. You see that bottom row? It's completely empty. That was during the fun period. Like I said, you knew there had to be a moment when homie was snacking like there was no tomorrow. Could you imagine the stomach ache he had to have had? Like if you go from eating nothing but garbage to like an entire vending machine's worth of Welch's fruit snacks. You're either gonna get raccoon diabetes or you're going to like have a horrible stomach ache. I'm assuming since he made the escape, he's just gonna have a, a stomach ache for a bit, maybe a little bit of a sugar hangover, you know? He's like, oh, I got chocolate wasted. Seriously though, this guy's got a crazy story to tell all the raccoons back at home. I'm glad he managed to escape safely. Very happy to hear about it. And I'm glad animal control just didn't give him the old yeetle deedle. But uh, yeah, on that note guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. There really isn't much else to say. I just thought this was a funny story. It's Christmas Eve, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are busy anyways. I hope you all have a fantastic night spending time with your family, get everything you want for Christmas tomorrow, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you for making uh, this a great month. You guys have had a fun time. I've had a fun time doing the Christmas stuff. But uh, yeah, on that note, press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. And of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications. If you really want to help me out, you can check out the intro song. I'll put a link down below along with a link to my podcast, The Scuffed Cast. And of course, you could use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout if you haven't already. It's a great way to get a discount on G Fuel and it helps me out. And last but certainly not least, I got two more things to plug. First things first, we got the Storytime Spotify, which you can check out. Link down below. I put some of my story times up there, so if you don't like gameplay, you're traveling, all that good stuff, feel free to go listen. And then we got the Karen Christmas sweater, which might be the coolest merch to ever exist. That link's gonna be at the top of the description. Be sure to go get it. I would really, really appreciate it, and uh, it would mean a lot. And yeah, on that note, guys, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I will see each and every single one of you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.